In this video, I wanted to share with you guys some hacks for using beer koozies or drink koozies when it comes to fishing. Now, a lot of us have a ton of these things laying around not being used and taking up space, so might as well put them to good use. Now, I have two koozies here. One is a standard, very thick foam style of koozie that I want to talk about, and also you have your standard uh, sleeve neoprene style koozie. Now, for the foam koozie, one of the biggest things that I found that this can be very useful for is if you have some sibiki rigs or pre-made leaders lying around, you can easily wrap these around the koozie and store them that way. So real quick, just to show you, a lot of people usually use like a pool noodle for this, but if you don't have a pool noodle laying around and all you have are these uh, thick foam sleeves laying around, they can definitely come in handy. So if you've ever used sabiki rigs, you know these things can be a nightmare and a mess in your tackle box. So if you're storing them, this can be a great way to do so. So you're just gonna take the first uh, little hook that's on the end of the sabiki rig. Take your first hook, hook that into really anywhere on the foam, like so. And you can then just wrap the sabiki rig around the foam. And you don't necessarily have to put each hook into the foam. You can just start wrapping it and then put the hook in after you have it wrapped. And we're gonna take that last hook, very sharp hooks, since it's got me on the finger there. I'll take that last hook and make sure you secure that one. That's gonna keep it tight on the beer koozie. And now you have a couple hooks hanging around. We're just going to dig them into the foam just to make sure they're out of the way and not flying around. And when you're ready to use a sabiki rig, all you have to do is you know, undo the hooks, unwind it, and you're good to go. So nice way to store these if you don't have a pool noodle and you have a bunch of koozies laying around, great option there. Now another handy way to use this thicker uh, koozie is to use it as basically a stager for your hooks and your lures. So as you know, these can typically fit into a cup holder, so you can just sit it into a cup holder, and then you can actually take whatever lures or hooks that you wanna use for the day and put them inside the koozie, but hang them over the side from the hook. So the hooks are all inside of the koozie, they're not outside and exposed where you can bump into them and get hooked. And you can just take whatever lures you're gonna use for the day, hook them inside, on the outside edge, you're gonna hook the lures and then you're gonna have the lure on the inside so it's not dangle, dangling around and can get bumped into. If you have a bunch of hooks that you wanna have ready to go within arm's reach, you can do the same thing with those. Just stick them to the outside edge of the koozie and there you go. You have all your lures and hooks ready to go within arm's reach in a cup holder so they're easily accessible and out of the way. Now the last hack that I wanted to show with this thicker style of koozie is that it can be a great float for you know your keys, pliers, tools, uh, fish dehookers, whatever you may have. These things are very prone to sinking down to the bottom and they will usually have a leash attached to them. Uh, but if you don't want to attach the leash to yourself or your vessel, you can just take that leash, run it through the koozie. If your koozie has that bottom part, uh, which some of them do, you can just cut that out or they'll have a small hole which you can uh, you know, pull the leash through and just pull that leash through the koozie, clip it back to your pliers or whatever accessories you're using and you now have a float in case your pliers or tools fall overboard. Now next up is the sleeve style koozie, uh, the neoprene style. It is still buoyant but not as buoyant as you know the big thick foam koozie and there's really two main uses that I found uh, with this koozie when it comes to fishing and one of the big ones being you know it's a great way to protect your fingers if you have to pull on your braided line or you need to grab your leader for whatever reason if you're trying to uh, grab the line and a big fish has it and you don't have gloves this can be a great alternative and as you can see I have a hook tied on here with braided line and all you have to do at that braided line is just wrap it a couple times around the neoprene and then you can pull and tighten any knots you need to or again like I said if you're grabbing leader this can be a great alternative as well. 
Now the last hack that I wanted to share with this sleeve style koozie is that it makes a great holder for either these spools of monofilament, you know, these 400 to 500 yard spools, or even little spools of leader material for fluorocarbon or mono. And the size will vary, you know, certain size will fit in here, but these standard uh, spools will typically fit. So with these spools of mono, you know, you most of the time we're gonna lose the little piece of tape that keeps the line from falling off the spool or a rubber band that might break or we'll lose it. So what I like to do is just, you know, make sure the line on the spool isn't loose, make sure it's all wrapped up nicely. And then you're gonna take that tag in, make sure it's still outside of the spool. And then you want to put the spool into the koozie with the tag end on the top of the spool. That way, when you put the sleeve on it, as you can see here, the spool's in there. Now you can take whatever line you need to out. You know, especially if you're using it as leader, the line is nice and secured and not falling off the spool so you don't have a mess of line on your boat. Now with your spools of leader material, the best way to contain your line with these sleeves is to have the tag end of your spool coming out of the bottom of these sleeves because this actually keeps the spool in and secure and you're able to pull line out of the spool. So you're gonna have that tag end go up into the sleeve first. Slide that sleeve onto it. Pull it all the way up. Now you're gonna get that tag end to come out. As you can see, the tag end is coming out of that sleeve. Now you can pull leader material out as you need to comes right out of that sleeve. And what I also like about this when I'm using leader is, you know, I like to have tension on my line as I'm pulling it out because that helps straighten out the leader as opposed to using a leader that's all coiled up that just falls off the spool. If you keep tension on it by using this koozie, it helps straighten out that line and it's not all coiled up. So again, just a few fishing related tricks that I wanted to share when it comes to drink koozies. Hopefully uh, these can help you out if you happen to be out there on the water. Again, most of us have a lot of these things laying around, so might as well put them to use. If you have any questions or comments or any additional tips that you would like to share, especially when it comes to using drink koozies, definitely let us know down below. If you are new to Salt Strong, we are the largest online fishing club for saltwater anglers and we guarantee you two things. Number one, you'll start catching more fish in less time. And number two, you will save a ton of money on your favorite tackle and gear with discounts available exclusively for our members. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live Salt Strong in where the lines are dead.